Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss about static and dynamic routing configuration, a step-by-step -step tutorial. Let's start with the how to configure static routing. First of all, create one topology with two routers, two switches and four PCs. Now, assign the IP address to all the PCs as per the given label. Next task is assign the IP address to the router interface. Now check the interface. So here both the routers are connected with the fast Ethernet 00 interfaces. So same way check the other interface of the router. It is FA01 which is connected with switch. Same way check into the router 1. Now router 1 other interface is FA01 which is connected with the switch. Now click on the router. Go to the config. Click on the fast Ethernet 00. The IP address is 192.168.1.2. Now port status is on. Now click on the fast Ethernet 01. The IP address is 192.168.2.3. Again port status is on. So now same way configure the router 1. Next task is check the connectivity between all the pieces. So take one simple PDU, click on the source and PC1 is the destination. Now you can check here it is successfully transferred. Now again take one simple PDU, PC0 is the source and PC2 is the destination. So it is failed. Now same way take another simple PDU, PC1 is the source and PC3 is the destination. Again it is failed. So now we can say PC0 and PC1 are in the same network and PC2 and PC3 are in the different network. If I want to communicate with the different network pieces, I have to configure a routing. So first of all, what is routing? Routing is a process of selecting a path to transfer the data from source to destination. So there are two types of routing. One is the static and second one is the dynamic. Here I am going to configure static routing on both the routers. First of all, what is static routing? In static routing, a router uses a manual configured route which is pre-configured by the admin. Let's configure static routing on both the routers. Now click on the router 0. Go to the config, click on the static routing, enter the network address 192.168.3.0. Why it is 3.0? Because I have to add other network which is not directly connected with 2.0 network. Here, I am manually added network. It creates a static route. Now enter the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and the next hop is 192.168.1.4 because packet is transferred from 2.0 to 3.0 network using 192.168.1.4 IP address. Now click on the add button to add this entry 
into the routing table. Go to the setting and click on the save button to save these changes in startup configuration of router. Now same way configure router1. Now my both the routers are configured with the static routing. Let's check the connectivity of PC2 and PC3 from PC1. So I am getting the response from PC2 and PC3. Same way check the connectivity from PC2 to PC0 and PC1. Again I am getting the response from both the PCs. Now I can say my static routing configuration work properly because I can access PCs from the different network. Let's discuss how to configure dynamic routing. First of all create one topology with two routers, two switches and four PCs. Now assign the IP address to all the PCs as per the given label. Next task is assign the IP address to the router interface. Now check the interface. So here both the routers are connected with the fast ethernet 00 interfaces. So same way check the other interface of the router. It is FA01 which is connected with switch. Same way check into the router 1. Now router 1 other interface is FA01 which is connected with the switch. Now click on the router. Go to the config. Click on the fast ethernet 00. The IP address is 192.168.1.2. Now port status is on. Now click on the fast ethernet 01. The IP address is 192.168.2.3. Again port status is on. So now same way configure the router 1. Next task is check the connectivity between all the pieces. So take one simple PDU, 
click on the source and PC1 is the destination. Now you can check here it is successfully transferred. Now again take one simple PDU PC0 is the source and PC2 is the destination. So it is failed. Now same way take another simple PDU PC1 is the source and PC3 is the destination. Again it is failed. So now we can say PC0 and PC1 are in the same network and PC2 and PC3 are in the different network. If I want to communicate with the different network PCs, I have to configure a routing. So first of all, what is routing? Routing is a process of selecting a path to transfer the data from source to destination. So there are two types of routing. One is the static and second one is the dynamic. Here I am going to configure dynamic routing on both the routers. So first of all, what is dynamic routing? Dynamic routing uses uh, algorithms to determine the best path. Examples of the dynamic routing are RIP, OSPF and EIGRP. Let's configure dynamic routing on both the routers. So first of all, click on the router 0. Go to the config. Click on the RIP. RIP stands for Routing Information Protocol. It is one kind of dynamic routing algorithm. Here router 0 is connected with 1.0 and 2.0 network. So here I am adding both the network address. So first of all I have add 192.168.1.0 then click on the add button. So it is added over here. Now add the next network address it is 192.168.2.0 and add in the list. So now both the network address are added in the list. Now go to the setting and click on the save button to save these changes in the startup configuration of router. Now same way configure the router 1. So now my both the routers are configured. Let's check the connectivity of PC2 and PC3 from PC0. Here I am getting response from both the PC, PC2 and PC3. Let's check the connectivity of PC0 and PC1 from PC2. Again I am getting the response from the PC0 and PC1. Now I can say my dynamic routing configuration work properly because I can access PCs from the different network. If you like this video please hit the like button and share with others. Subscribe my channel Chirag Valoria. Thank you for watching this video.